right, hello, wine-drinking people. And we're back with more of what I've had to drink yesterday. And our good friend Anthony Pannoni was in with... Uh, Biodynamic was the theme here, I guess. You know, I just saw this piece on CNN how, you know, that pest food with pesticides, the food without pesticides, it doesn't make any difference what you eat. You know, they just did a study. There's no conclusive evidence that uh, eating food with pesticides is any better than eating food without pesticides. I'm sorry, there's not enough studying been done on this. Of course, wines and food made organically or naturally is better for you than stuff with pesticides. Don't listen to any of this stupid rhetoric out there. They've proven that the people who spray these pesticides on the plants in France now, they're having incidences of Alzheimer's and other problems. So biodynamic wine, I'll always pick over wines that have pesticides in them for the same price. Some of these wines are not that expensive. You know, you got biodynamic Chardonnay for $46. Okay, that's not cheap, but you can still find some great stuff like the Jonquier for $14.75. It's never been sprayed with poison. Okay, the Liocchio Chardonnay from Demuth Vineyard in Anderson Valley. This is a project that was started by a sommelier, Keith O'Connor at Spago, and uh, his partner, Mark Lichtinger. I don't know if I spelled those right, but we'll Google that later. And then uh, this vineyard has phylloxera, something, the weirdest thing I've heard. And, you know, he says that helps keep the yield down, which, yes, it does. But really unique bouquet with this wine, uh, tangerine, citrus, and juniper berries. That's what it says on the bottle anyways. But uh, really uh, kind of tangerine, citrus. I got that a little bit, some wet stone in there. Really distinct minerality. Not a very big and fruity wine. I think it was only like 12.5% alcohol. So uh, really nice savoriness to this wine, though. And you can tell these guys really know what they're doing this wine has a sense of place here this uh Licchio chardonnay how do you say that's from demuth vineyard anderson valley all right next up the 2011 uh low de don the low de jones sierra which is a cote de rhone a biodynamic wine of course again 100 percent um grenache and this is owned by a woman marielle roussel marine roussel rather very light style very juicy bright berry pie fruit on, on strawberry on the nose Fresh flowers, really pretty and forward enticing bouquet. Juicy fruit on the palate with soft tannins and pretty floral notes. A real crowd pleaser here. Very good juice. The guy Breton Morgon, VA Vines. Well, the 2010 vintage is just a stunner in Beaujolais. And this is this wine is this guy's part of the gang of four. We had the 2003 here in the store. Good amount of terroir showing to the nose here. Some lovely exotic spice, uh, wild strawberry, raspberry fruits, and a note of animal here. A really wild note to this as well. Like another wine that's 12% alcohol. If you like lower alcohol wines, this whole lineup is for you, man. Really nice zesty finish to this wine. That floral and spicy note shown as well. Excellent bottle of wine. Very well built. 36 bucks. Maybe a little expensive for a Beaujolais, but great wine. Definitely not expensive for a great wine. Okay, the Leocio Pinot Noir from the Sonoma Coast. Good amount of fresh earth on the nose here too. Some nice barnyardy characters. Some brown spice, toffee to that red cherry berry fruit. Really bright and fresh on the palate here with uh, notes of that exotic spice and a zestiness to this wine as well. Really lovely freshness and uh, sense of place there. Excellent. Plus $39.75. And then the Leocio Indica which, uh, of course, we had to pick up right away because of the name. And, uh, well, this is a very reasonably priced wine, too. Old Vine Carignan, 2% Petit Syrah, 1% Grenache, of course, biodynamically farmed, just like everything else in this lineup. Really intense, exotic spice on the nose here. Floral notes, red berry, cranberry, strawberry, notes of cinnamon, nutmeg. A really bright finish to this wine as well with that spice and floral nuance. Really unique, and it's not... Often you find almost 100% varietal old vine Carignan, a great wine for a brown bag. All right, very good stuff at 23.25. And then the Catherine and Pierre Breton Chinon. If you like Cabernet Franc, man, or you like old world style wines, again, low alcohol wines, this wine's got a really kind of a vegetal note to it on the nose, but some nice black plum fruit as well, dried meats, fresh earth, and a really lovely spice to this wine on the palate. And again, you know, that lower alcohol, you get more acidity, more zestiness, and uh, you notice the terroir from the clay and limestone here also. And age in a combination of oaks, you get a little bit uh, mostly neutral, so not a lot of influence from the oak in any of these wines. Really, if you like old world stuff, this whole lineup from Anthony, just outstanding. Like I said, lower alcohol stuff. You can drink more of it. We love it. Good job, Anthony. Nice lineup of wines. Check it out. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.